Welcome to Decoding the Keys to Health, a podcast dedicated to exploring health and wellness from a natural, holistic viewpoint. Join our host, esteemed nutritionist and New York Times bestselling author, Anne Louise Gittleman, along with James Templeton, a 35-year cancer survivor and the founder of Unikey Health, as they share their more than five decades of combined experience. In each episode, these luminaries of alternative healing will impact the complexities of today's most challenging health issues, providing you with science-backed insights and wisdom you can trust. Whether you're embarking on a health journey, seeking to enhance your wellness, or simply driven by curiosity, you've tuned into the right resource. And now, let's delve in and decode the keys to health with Anne Louise and James. Hello, everyone. James Templeton, founder of Unikey Health. It's great to be with you today. And I'm here with none other than Anne Louise Gittleman, the first lady of nutrition. Hello, Anne Louise. Hey, James. How are you? And I want to welcome everyone to decoding the keys to health. Welcome. <laughs> and, you know, today we're going to talk about something I think that affects more people than just about anything. And that's having the energy levels that they want. Most people complain about low energies, especially when they get to be in their 30s or 40s and on up. And uh, they they complain. One of the number one complaints is like, I wish I had more energy. I wish I felt like I did when I was 20 years old or mm -hmm. 15 years old. Mm. And, you know, there's some key factors about this. And for years, I did a lot of research and I still do. But with with uh, using a specialized microscope that I have and I've learned a lot and kind of what are the key factors of really good health. And, you know, from observing individuals over the years, uh, knowing that uh, uh, the majority of people need certain things. And just as we've talked about in our other podcast uh, that we've done, uh, this is gonna talk more about the energy aspect. And Anne Louise, you know, you've worked with hundreds and hundreds of clients over your career. Uh, you've written 37, 38 books on health and nutrition. And uh, some of these books have been New York Times bestselling books. And uh, all of them have been bestselling books, but you know some of them were just blockbusters like mm -hmm. your Fat Flush Plan and Before, and, the, before change. the Change and, and a lot. So you have a lot of experience. You're not somebody that just started you know, two or three years ago, and as, as well read, you have seen these things that we talk about in real life uh, and, and stories of people that have overcome things like low energy and, and other issues. So what do you find uh, that is one of the biggest things that's creating this low energy uh, throughout the day where maybe sometimes in the morning they wake up tired, maybe in the middle of the day or before lunch, they're tired. And then in the afternoon, it just kind of the energy's up and down. And, and uh, once you eat, you hit a little energy, then you start feeling tired again. What, what causes this? pH. pH. Okay. So tell us more about the pH. Well, I first learned about it with Dr. Parcells over, it's going to be 50 years, James Templeton. Can you believe wow, it? When I walked years. into her office. 50 yeah, years when this little girl walks into the office, she was 84, buzzing around. 1974? It was 19, is that about 50 years from? Yeah, well, about, it's almost 50 years. Oh, my God. And I used to fall asleep in the middle of the afternoon. And she would point to me and say, get Miss Gittleman some vinegar and water. And why <laughs> do you think she did that? I couldn't help it. Every afternoon in, in school and college, I used to do the same thing because I was suffering from too much alkalinity on a cell level. And the apple cider vinegar pushed me over the top to make me more acidic. Wow. He also introduced us to crayon water. And we do that to this day when I'm feeling tired. Is that why you put it in the fat flush uh, diet? It's plant? my big secret. Why do you think it was so successful? Because people actually got energetic for the first time in their lives. Because if you take too much of these herbs and spices that are so popular now, particularly the oreganos and the basils, you become too alkaline on the cellular level. So this was my really claim to fame. I'm drinking it right now, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> well, you know, I want to ask you, why does, for example, you talked about oregano and basil and, and herbs like that, that a lot of the Italian 
uh, uh, dishes contain. Now, why would, would that be in that dish? Is there a certain medicinal purpose? Oh, they're very medicinal. There's no question that they're medicinal, but if they're not balanced with other types of elements like olive oil, which is a little bit acidic, then you're going to get very tired. And yeah. the most alkaline herb that we found, interestingly enough, is pepper. So we take away black pepper black on pepper. fat flush. Yes, you're right. So there's a method to our madness, everybody out there. We know what we're doing. We studied with a master who passed away at 106. May your memory be blessed. But you're also a master yourself. I mean, you have seen these things work and not time work, and time in work and not work with people. Well, time in and time out. Yeah. Sure, we've seen and it. And that's why when I got to meet Dr. Parcells, I was so excited because here's a lady that is renowned. And back then we didn't have the internet and all that. So things weren't out there the way they are now, but people in the know knew of her. And this lady had more energy than anybody I'd ever seen and was running around, you know, like a, like a 20 year uh, old. Yeah. Just, just, you know, having people do this and that she had a business, she was busy. She had no reason to ever slow down. She just had so much energy and was so sharp mentally. And the thing is, she talked a lot about the pH, the pH uh, and how important the acid alkaline balance was on a cellular level cellular level most people think of well now what's that mean tell they us were, what they, that they means. think they were too acidic and it's actually the opposite when you measure it on a radionic board so so the thing about it is energy is the ultimate uh ending to all things when you are like eating something or drinking something or thinking something or under a lot of stress it affects the energy of the cells on a pH level, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. So alkalinity is when uh, you eat foods, maybe they're too acidic on a cell level. And the body tries to balance. Yeah, it, it buffers. It tries to balance and create balance. And on a cell level, uh, slightly uh, acidic is probably the best. But a lot of people are thinking about, well, he's too acidic. You're eating all these acidic foods. But that's on a biochemical level. That's like where you do a pH strip or you test the urine or the saliva, right? Yes. So that's something that can be determined. But the end result is the energetic cell energy, the electromagnetic cell energy in the body. So no one really talks about this. Not I know we've talked anymore. about this for so many years and is have experienced this ourselves. Uh, at times, you know, you go and you have lunch or you, or you do something and you wake up in the morning and you have no energy. You're just like lethargic and you feel like, you know, you just can't get up out of bed. You, I don't know what's wrong. I'm so tired. What did I do? What did I eat? So we think like that. We think, what did we eat? What did we drink? And what then we, we balance. Maybe we took a new supplement that we're trying, you know, that we didn't know a lot about. And maybe we didn't measure it. So we just took it anyway. And so we find we out. Measure. They well, should understand that. We find out, though, that by taking something like apple cider vinegar. And now we're talking uh, non-pasteurized right. apple cider vinegar. Natural, like like certain ones out there in the marketplace that are, it says, un, unpasteurized. Like Bragg's. Yeah, that's the key. You do not want to do regular vinegars because that's going to feed the yeast in your body, feed the, the unhealthy Indeed, bacteria. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're taking a, uh, ap a either apple cider vinegar or you can do the cran cranberry concentrate, but you want to make sure there's no sugar. It's it's like the just cranberry and are are there's other Lake brands Wood. Lakewood there's other brands out there make sure it's organic if you can find it make sure that it's just cranberry concentrate never drink it straight you always have to dilute it with water and tell them how much uh cran well, uh berry concentrate you should put in a glass one ounce one ounce to seven ounces of water because don't be you know, one of these people that thinks they'll just start drinking it straight. We had fat flush cruises for years. almost 10 years. And we had a couple of nice ladies. 
one year and every year we would give them a bottle of cran <laughs> cranberry concentrate uh so they could have the uh the uh the cranberry water that Ann Louise Cruz talks about so much and promotes and these ladies didn't know and they thought they were supposed to just drink the bottle every day you know a whole bottle so and both of them drank a bottle each while well, they were in bed for <laughs> oh, two days God. with uh, diarrhea because it's so acidic. They couldn't move. James. So I just like to tell people, this is not what you do. You do what Anne Louise said, one ounce and basically a glass of water and, and you'll be fine. So if a little is good, more is not better in this But case. if you feel this, this lethargic kind of energy and you feel like just somebody knocked you in the head, you're so tired and it's just like a weird, not, oh, I'm just so tired and exhausted. Try the cream. Try it. Or do the apple cider vinegar. Another Two teaspoons and eight ounces of water. Two teaspoons and eight ounces of water. That's the of apple, apple, apple cider, cider vinegar, vinegar unpasteurized. The other secret thing that I've used for years with clients is something that uh, most of you know about. It's called sauerkraut. Now, sauerkraut I love. I can only eat so much, of course, but you want to make sure it's non-pasteurized also. That What's it's the brand? Give well, brand. Bubby's is a good brand. We love Bubby's. Bubby's is something you can find in a health food store, sometimes in your uh, healthy section of your grocery store, but it's usually refrigerated. You don't want to uh, eat sauerkraut that's sitting on the shelf. Usually that's that has some kind of pasteurization. So you make sure that you have that. So if you take probably, you know, four four or five maybe tablespoons of, of sauerkraut, you know, uh, a, time, a time a day, that kind of substitutes the cran water uh, or, or either the vinegar. So it's very helpful also because that is fermented, but it only has salt in it, usually sea salt and cabbage. So that's very, very medicinal and very helpful. But the thing is, these are our three secrets to having... One more secret we have to tell them. Well, you know, we're going to tell them. keep a secret. We're going to tell them all the secrets. What's the next one? The next secret is the other side of the coin. If you have the flu or you've had a lot of x-rays or on a plane and you become too acidic, tell them what we do. Well, you can do salt, a uh, little salt water, but not, you know, like uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt at the most in a glass of water. That works very well. Or some baking soda, a little bit of baking soda. Or a salt and soda bath. Salt and soda bath works really well. Tell them how to do that, Anne Louise. Two you cups do. of baking soda and two cups of salt in a full tub of water. So you, I know you do this very often. I do this religiously after I come back from a plane trip. And I know Dr. Parcells used And to after say, I've had x-rays and maybe even a CAT scan, which sometimes you need to have. You know, Dr. Parcells used to talk about uh, how how the radiation affected people and especially her. She lived in New Mexico, which was like, the home you of know, the atomic bomb. Yeah, and it, in that, even though no one likes to, hear about it there's a lot of radiation from uh from plutonium uh from strontium from from all these radioactive materials that they've used in uh in uh, yeah, buried in the mountains there yeah from the storage and everything else and you know what i want to tell everybody there's a new movie coming out called oppenheimer which we need to see because dr parcells worked with the boys on the atomic bomb and the antidote to too much radiation was salt and soda mm. well it Incredible works pretty woman. well it also iodine works to help to to help protect your thyroid gland and you know but these things really work now and they're simple and it's simple and it's something that everybody should be doing on a, on a semi-regular basis sometimes you have a lot of energy and when you have a lot of energy that's okay but when you have this feeling which a lot of you know what i'm talking about where you just feel like oh my gosh i just don't have the energy i used to have and you know a lot of people as as dr parcells used to talk about and things people that i've worked with and learned that a lot of these people are very, very alkaline on a cell level. As and they as get you older. get older, that's why people want to sleep more. So we found that people, when they get, uh, you know, at the end of their lives, they become very, very alkaline on a cell level. And the doctor, 
Parcells, we called her the doctor. The doctor. He talked about how important it was to do vinegar baths for some of the apple people. cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar baths and uh, probably what a cup of of apple cider vinegar in, in one a tub two, of water. One to two cups. Okay. And, and she, she used Heinz. She, she talked. Use the healthy brand because well, she just needed the acidity. Because that's not you're not internally taking that. No, in. you just needed the pH value. But the thing is, she would say that sometimes she felt like she had to crawl into a tub of either either vinegar bath or a uh, salt and soda bath because of the exposure to the the ionizing radiation. Yeah, the radiation that you can't see. Uh, sometimes people feel it. You feel slight foo like I feel it when I'm around it for a day or two. I you start feel to... in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yes, I live there. I couldn't live there any longer after a couple of years. I just didn't feel well there uh, because of uh, there's a lot of of uh, uh, radiation, especially when the wind is blowing towards Santa Fe. So that was a problem for us. But I want to tell you that these are real important things. And if you want to know more uh, about this, uh, I'm sure Anne Louise uh, and her team would be glad to shed some more light on it. But uh, I think that this is very simple, the things we've talked about. But there's some other things that we need to talk about, Anne Louise, uh, that's affecting people uh, on a deeper level as far as energy, uh, there are certain glands in the body that, that are so important. And Dr. Parcells told me once that the secret to her longevity the had to do to with life, pH, pH on a cell level. On a cell level. And it had to deal also with the tricking endocrine the, system. Tricking the glands and into thinking you were young. Well, she said to me one day we were having lunch. She says, you know, the secret... Because I asked her, because she does, she didn't advertise this too much for some reason. She kept things close to the chest. But I said, Doctor, why do you think you've lived so long and how stayed old so healthy? Then, she was about one hundred four or five, and I said, How do you feel? I mean, what's how did this happen for you? She says, Well, I feel that the most two important things that I did was pH on a cell level. Mm -hmm. And the other thing was uh, the keeping the endocrine system glands energized and balanced. Tricking them into and thinking she, they were young. Yeah, she, she said, said that, that kind of tricks the body to thinking it's young because when you get older, things get weak. And when they get weaker, then the body thinks it's dying. So she said, you got to keep it up. It takes more work. It's like having an old car that needs more maintenance. She said that. And she said, you know, you got to keep up with it or the car is going to fall apart on you. So I always remember that. But she talked very much about other things and tell us the glands that were so important for the energy. Well, one was the adrenal gland, the fight or flight gland, which is really your stress gland. So we've got the adrenals and the thyroid, which kind of work in tandem. And when we see people in this day and time, everybody is adrenally fatigued and tired, especially if they're not sleeping properly, if they have low blood pressure, and if they have low serum sodium, which I do. So I have been born with low adrenals. Circles so take around the eyes. Allergies, circles around the eyes, and respiratory issues. Are very, belly fat all the time. Yeah, but it's it's really the the breathing mechanism now is very much coming into the forefront since COVID, and that can be related to the adrenals. So the adrenal formula that Uniki has provided is what we suggest, and it's made a huge difference with so many people. And you know, one of the things is a lot of people in this day and time are overwhelmed with stress, which is creates havoc on the adrenal glands. You just can't help it. There's stress getting up in the morning, eating, looking at the television or the internet and seeing the politics that are going on, the kind of discomfort that people experience when they're using their cell phones too much, the EMFs, non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. And, you know, look at, look at what people drink. They, they live on coffee. They live on these energy drinks out there and sodas that are high, high in caffeine. And sugar. And when they do this, it gives them a, this lift false, of energy. False, and then, then after, energy. you know, a couple hours, they have no energy again. So they have to redo that. And now they're wearing their adrenal glands plumb out, right, as we say. 
as they say in Texas, what we say on the East Coast is you need the adrenal formula. <laughs> oh, Us East Coasters say adrenal formula. Adrenal formula to the rescue. And and I want to tell you, you know, I have used the adrenal formula myself for 25, 25 years. years. And I can tell you that it keeps your energy level throughout the day. You don't have those ups and downs unless, again, your pH gets off from something you ate, maybe too much black pepper or something, some kind of herb. But that's easy to fix. Because so many about. supplements, except for the Unikey supplements, I'm going to put in a wonderful infomercial, are so screwed up to your system because nobody knows what to balance anymore. They don't balance pH. We learn the secrets from the master. So ours are all balanced. You don't get tired. You don't get fatigued. You don't lag energy in the middle of the afternoon. They're pH balanced. Even our detox formulas, our worm formulas that we spoke about in the first podcast, pH pH balance with a little cran water, cranberry concentrate, cranberry extracts. So we actually know what we're doing because we studied with the masters and we formulate yes. according to their principles. And I actually learned how to formulate uh, the Dr. Parcells way back many years ago when I sat with her in her laboratory and she taught me some of her secrets of the uh, bioenergetic uh, way of determining the right amounts that were put in our, our formulas. And they do have a energetic pH balance. All of our products are, are uh, balanced in that that's particular why they're so, way. That's why they're so popular. And I want to tell you something about the adrenal formula. You know, we use raw bovine adrenal and it's freeze dried. And we, we use only the highest quality uh, from New Zealand or sometimes Argentina, but they're very, very pure. Uh, they they don't have added hormones. They're they're naturally grown uh, cattle, and also uh, some of some of the the glands glands that you have that maybe are porcine that maybe we might have in something, uh, not in this, but are are really a highest quality from countries that don't use uh, chemicals and hormones like we do in this country. So that's excellent. And so, this works a lot better than all the herbal formulas. You don't get you don't get that groundedness that you yes. do with the glands that have the DNA and the RNA that go directly into the human cell. They're almost like it's almost like getting a stem cell transplant. And the adrenal formula is something that people use and you need to take it with food and I'll tell you something that uh, the, the key factor is, is most people need to take two capsules or, uh, caplets, actually, they look like capsules, but they're a cap, they're a, a tablet, but two of these two to three times a day, most people don't take enough. They'll take, oh, I'm taking one and a day. And the adrenal times are important. The yes. 7 a.m., the 11 a.m., and the 3 p.m. But if you want level energy, then this is along with some of the other things we've talked about. And of course, a proper diet, uh, like the fat plus plan, which is goes, very important. Which goes without saying, folks. And the other thing that, that we want to touch on that's affecting people's energy is the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a key factor for energy. So the thyroid formula is so important and uh, the thyro key is Unikey's thyro natural thyroid. And formula. why is this formula different than all other thyroid formulas well, under the sun? This, what does it contain? Well, this this contains the actual bovine thyroid tissue. Non-hormonal. But it's non-hormonal. We do not have the thyroxine in it. That's in some of the other prescription natural formulas. And this has worked very well especially for people that are low in energy, cold hands and feet, uh, poor immunity. Uh, they just can't lose weight no matter what they do. A lot of these people, I've had people I worked with personally that were on like a special diet, like fat blush, for example, they couldn't get rid of the last 10 pounds. Maybe they lost 30 pounds, but they just couldn't seem to get rid of that. Now we, we, we got them to take uh, thyroid support and lo and behold here they go here's the weight starts to fall but their thyroid thyroid a lot of people 
I think, I don't know what you think, Ann Louise, that, that are obese, uh, have thyroid issues. Yes, there's no question. And they also have a lot of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So there's a lot of autoimmune issues going on now. This is very supportive for that, by the way. But what I really wanted you to say is why the parotid gland is in this particular formulation. Well, the parotid, the gland tissue you're talking about? Yes. Well, that these all support the thyroid. These are the... It's because what I learned 50 years ago from Parcells, the parotid is like a heavy metal magnet that could be affecting the thyroid. Yeah. So we put this in the formula so that you wouldn't be exposed to too much copper, too much lead, or too much mercury. We've also got in there bovine pituitary, hypothalamus, bovine adrenal tissue a little bit because the thyroid and adrenals work really well together. In tandem. Yes and uh, bovine liver tissue. So this is not just thyroid. There's some formulas out there that just have just thyroid. Not saying they don't work, but this is this really- is like multi, multi really works pretty well. Thyroid. And uh, we, we use these ourselves and Ann Louise uses it with her clients and uh, you've had great results, right? extraordinary results with both the adrenal and the thyroid because the glands are so important to support in this day and age. See, we used to eat a lot of organ meats. Nobody does that anymore. Yeah. I mean, and everybody's uniquely different and, uh, you know, they, they, uh, you know, can go and get a blood test and find out their levels of their hormones and their, especially their thyroid. But, you know, we're dealing with people, the average person out there is, has, probably certain thyroid issues, right? Everybody we work with is a thyroid issue. As thin as I am, and you know that I'm not heavy by any means because I've been following all my books for so many years, I still need thyroid support. And, you know, the thing about the thyroid gland is, and, and we talked about radiation. Radiation really affects the thyroid more than any gland, doesn't so it? So that's where the And iodine you got iodine out. issues. People are very low in iodine, most people. Yes. And uh, most people aren't eating seaweed like I used to eat. I still eat some. Or but, taking iodine. Yeah. So we take, I know I do, I take, uh, you know, uh, I order all on a regular daily basis myself, uh, just as a... Which is an iodine supplement with yeah. potassium. And uh, there's Lugo solution. Some people can take that. There's different things out there. But uh, you got to gotta support your thyroid, people. If, especially if you want to have energy and uh, the circulation and everything that you want. Because I've had so many people that I've known and have worked for me that are always have cold hands and feet. And they would all, a lot of them would like to lose an extra five pounds. Well, thyroid key to the rescue. Yeah. So today, you know, is all about getting your energy up and feeling more energetic, feeling the way you used to having the energy that you deserve. So it's about pH, it's about your thyroid, it's about your adrenals, it's about reducing the stress in your life as much as possible, eating a balanced fat flush diet, and being happy and grateful. Yes, you're and right. I'm happy and grateful that you're doing this podcast. And of course, everyone, you can get these products that we're talking about at, at unikeyhealth.com. Unikeyhealth.com. Uh, check out annlouise.com. Uh, also check out my uh, site, Templeton Wellness, my nonprofit. It's uh, a, prof a, a site that I, I interview people that have had cancer, natural cancer. They've used natural cancer treatments to overcome most of them late stage cancer. Uh, I'm a cancer survivor, as most of you know. For so you're very invested in helping yourself yes, and helping others. For 37 years this year of stage four melanoma and I Mazel have tov. yes and uh, I knock on wood every day but I'll tell you that uh, I interview people and I interview the top experts I feel in the world that help people overcome uh, cancer diagnoses with natural diets and, and natural detox programs and supplementation and many other things so check it out. I think you'll really 
you find it interesting, and especially if you know someone has cancer, you'll get educated real quick. And also check out Templeton List. Templeton List is my restaurant guide of the healthiest organic farm-to-table restaurants in America. We've got over 5,000 restaurants, and uh, it's easy to, to uh, uh, just jump on your phone or your computer and find a restaurant. It'll give you directions. Uh, you're going to, you know, especially if you're traveling or if you're going on a, you know, special vacation or whatever, you'll find some really good places to eat. This is all part of my nonprofit Templeton Wellness, and I really would appreciate it. And uh, anyway, thanks for listening today. Again, check out unikeyhealth.com. Uh, these products are on that site. It's easy to work with. If you have any questions, check out uh, or give us a call at our uh, Unikey 1-800-888-4353. And uh, you can uh, talk to someone that's very knowledgeable and helpful. So anyway, Anne Louise, it's been great to be with you again today. Goodbye. And good luck. It's nice to be here with everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>